First, we welcome to the Biofocus on again. So, this Biofocus on is organized and uh, sponsored by the Insurance and LBDC. And we have been organizing uh, five Biofocus on so far, and this is our sixth Biofocus on. And we have already published three review papers of the past by Hackathons, and we already submitted a paper on the by 2011 and 12. And we have three more papers uh, currently submitted to the Journal of Biomedical Semantics. And this year we will launch a new semantic series in this journal. And you are welcome to submit your work to the series. The benefit of this series is uh, we, some of us, are the editors of the series, so uh, your work will be uh, relatively <coughs> understood by the reviewers and editors. So please submit your work after the final <laughs> as soon as possible. <laughs> So this is describes why we have biochasm. So currently, as Oi Sensei has described, we have a huge amount of data and also a huge amount of papers, literatures to be analyzed or utilized, and so many biomatics databases, services, and tools. But we still have technical issues in uh, interoperability and standard standardization among them. So we are now focusing on the semantic web technologies to clarify the semantics inside the data for integration and to improve reusability and findability of the data so that we can develop practical applications for biomedical domains and <coughs> utilizing distributed databases or services of knowledge or data. So to, uh, however, to achieve this goal, we still need uh, community efforts for agreements for standardization of data availability. So, <laughs> maybe people on the back side cannot leave the down side, but uh, by Hakasan is a bottom up approach to effectively accelerate the international collaborations among the one level developers like us, and a week of intensive face-to-face -face meeting together is the most e efficient way, I believe, so to resolve current issues in the life science domain and to bring new ideas and new technology to this domain and create new applications for biomedical people. Okay, so here is a part of our recent uh, products in, uh, developed in the DHLS. We have Togo DB system which can instantly create a customizable web database from your tabular, tabular data. And now it supports ontology editing sit ontology editing functionality to, to be used in the RDF DAM or we can also instantly publish the data in the Spark endpoint. And the, Togo Web Service is an integrated web service for unified access to this API for the major web services at, uh, provided by NCBI, UBI, UBI, and K and UBI. And this year we added support for UC SCU genome database. So you can use any uh, species and genomes supported by UCSC by the accessing this list uh, API. So you can take a specific chromosome and a specific portion of the sequence in the past format, or you can query the ECS genome database by the keyword search, and so on. And the uh, last one is a total genome project. It is still under the development. Development, but we, we have a semantic web based modular database which can be embedded in your web application. 
So we have already integrated Uniplot and uh, Nextset data with a uh, fund of ontology, which is a question uh, ontology for the Charles Calcines questions and developed by us in the last five hackathon. And we also uh, developed in-house ontologies like environment or phenotype or culture collections, which these ontologies will be described by the next speaker, Kawashima-san. And we have already developed several uh, uh, modules in the Togo genome and created sparkle queries and visualization modules. So if you are interested, we can describe in more detail during the next by half some week. Okay, so here is the entire schedule of uh, this by hackathon. Today we will have a symposium and the spiritual tour. And tomorrow to Friday we will have a intensive coding days. And for people who will join the hackathon, please uh, gather uh, at the hotel by 9.30, or if you directly come to DBCS, please uh, arrive at DBCS by 10 in the morning tomorrow. Okay. And tomorrow evening, we will have a banquet. Okay. And today, we will visit Spiteway Tower, uh, starting at 6 p.m. And if we are lucky, uh, we can see the Mount Fuji or sunset. Uh, actually, uh, UNESCO formally planted Mount Fuji as a world heritage yesterday, so it is very nice. Thank you. <laughs> and today is a super moon day. <laughs> if we are lucky, we can also enjoy the super large, beautiful, cool moon day. So, um, Moonrise time is expected to be 6.41 in Tokyo and the sun, sunset will be 7 p.m. And you can also see International Space Satellite uh, passing over the north. Um, okay. So let's start the simple gem. Today we have a lot of interesting talks. So, first one will be given by Kawashima-san, and the uh, Japanese talk will be a big long keynote, and the other talks are 20 minutes. So, for 20 minutes talks, speakers, please remember, we will bring one bell at uh, 10 minutes, and we will bring two bells at 15 minutes, so please stop at <laughs> 15 minutes, and we will have five minutes for question and answers. And in 20 minutes, we need to change to the next speaker. That's it. <laughs>